Animal Crossing fans are just forced to take L's even when you would least expect them, and this is a very, very strange one in my opinion. So let's check out exactly what has happened. I don't know if you've already been caught up with what's going on with Nintendo Live 2023, but basically it's a celebration of all things Nintendo happening for the first time in Seattle, and Animal Crossing has been confirmed to play a role. We've known this since I believe about last month. Up until now, the details about what Animal Crossing's involvement will be have always been pretty murky though. Now, I don't really feel like we were expecting to hear any game news about Animal Crossing, unless Nintendo decided to somehow surprise us or tie it into the September Direct which will most likely happen near the time, but it's still nice to hear that Animal Crossing would play a role in such a major event for Nintendo, it shows how far the game has actually come. And since this event previously happened in Japan back in 2022, we pretty much knew exactly what to expect, as Animal Crossing did indeed feature prominently during that event in particular, which was nice. But even with those already low expectations, we were already wrong about what to expect because Nintendo has just confirmed a disappointing piece of news about this event in particular. Last year, Nintendo hosted a really special and super cool DJ KK Paradise Mix concert. It's really similar to those concerts you see with Hatsune Miku and Splatoon as well. And it was a big first for Animal Crossing. Nintendo clearly put a lot of time into creating this particular show. But now with the details confirmed about Nintendo Live, we know that Nintendo will not be repeating this event for 2023. Instead, they'll be having concerts for Zelda and Mario. This really surprised me as I kind of expected they would just simply reuse this event, especially as it only happened in Japan, so American audiences haven't even really seen it unless they watched it on YouTube. But nope, it seems like Animal Crossing has pretty much been relegated just to being photo opportunities throughout this event, which is even less than the already low expectations I think a lot of us had. Don't get me wrong, the photo opportunities are still going to be really cool for those who actually attend the event, but the fact that we're not getting the concert again or even a slightly revised version of it for 2023 is definitely disappointing news. And of course that's on top of the already disappointing expectation that we probably won't see any kind of game announcements for Animal Crossing or Nintendo's other franchises during this event. Keep in mind that this event seems to be tied in with PAX 2023, and during that event back in 2020, with the exact same photo ops that we expect to see at this one, they even had a playable demo of Animal Crossing New Horizons before it launched. So without any gaming content or even a concert for Animal Crossing, Nintendo Live has definitely been a little bit disappointing, at least to me personally. I'm sure that people who attend will still have a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but I would definitely keep your expectations about this particular event really low. It goes to show that even when you expect something as simple as a repeat of the concert from last year, it just might not happen. But to be fair, the same could be said for Splatoon 3 as well, that is not getting a concert again either despite the fact one happened last year. I do kind of understand Nintendo wanting to switch things up, especially with the success of the Mario movie and Zelda as well, but that DJ KK Paradise concept was so cool, I'm really sad that they did not decide to repeat it or just make a new version of it. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Are you disappointed by Nintendo Live or is it pretty much exactly what you expected? If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more.